Hey guys, my name's Alex. I'm currently studying here at Yonsei University, and yeah, I thought I'd show you guys around. So, welcome to the Yonsei University campus tour. Mwah. So right across from the main gate is Shincheon, which is kind of like the main neighborhood that Yonsei resides in. And yeah, as soon as you walk in through the main gates, you're greeted by this giant rock right here that says the truth will set you free, which is I think their motto. Um, my mom would always say that whenever I lied. Um, yeah, let's just keep going and uh, yeah, the campus is really beautiful. So if you turn left from the main gate, then you'll meet the athletics field, which is pretty cool because it's a full-size soccer field or football field for the international viewers, as well as the basketball courts right over there. Um, so yeah, they actually closed it off because of COVID, which is kind of unfortunate. I did, however, get to play soccer once this semester at another field off campus, but yeah, wish I came here a little bit more often. All right, let's keep going. So I've been here at Yonsei for probably about around four months now. I still haven't explored most of the buildings, which is kind of crazy to think about, but I have been around campus quite a bit, especially riding my skateboard. All right, now we're headed back to the main highway through campus, which is absolutely gorgeous. So about halfway through the main part of campus is the Cheyukwan, AKA the gymnasium. Um, yeah, it's still closed because of COVID, but I hear it's around 30 to 40,000 won per month, which is way worth it compared to all the other prices in the Shinchon area. Yeah, I wish I could show you inside, but I'm gonna say that's for another lifetime. But I think one of the more interesting buildings in this area is the library. So right here is the central library. It's probably one of the nicest and biggest and coolest buildings I've ever been in. It has a whole bunch of study spaces. It's actually kind of intimidating because there are a lot of Korean people studying there and I kind of get intimidated around other people, but it's just a super great space to study. And there's some relaxation rooms, a lot of breakout rooms, classrooms. I don't hang around in there very often, but I did in my day in the life video right here if you want to check it out. Um, but yeah, all right. Let's keep going. And right behind me is the student union. Um, yeah, I probably spent a lot of time in here the first semester because the bank's here, so I did open a bank account. They also have one of the student cafeterias here, so yeah, there's a lot of cheap and pretty high quality food. Yeah, there's not a lot to say about it, so I'm just gonna keep going. And here we are at some of the more famous buildings here at Yonsei. So when I Googled pictures before I came here, these are the buildings that popped up. I gotta say they look a lot better in spring than they do in winter, because in winter they kind of looked a little dead. But yeah, a lot of seniors came here for their senior pictures and a lot of students take pictures here, including myself. I've done a few tricks, I guess, also. Um, but yeah, yeah, this is definitely, definitely one of the more beautiful parts of campus. <sighs> All right, let's keep going. And here we are at one of the cooler parts of campus. I don't know, this is an amphitheater, which my school doesn't have one, so I find this kind of cool. But it's kind of sad and eerie because there used to be festivals held here, but not this semester. So, yeah. Anyway, sometimes I come here to film some videos or just mess around. So yeah, that's, uh, 
that's the gist of this area. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm currently editing this video right now, and I was like, you know what, maybe I'll throw in a little dorm tour as well. So here's a tour of my dorm, the SK Global House. On the northeast quadrant of Yonsei University resides the SK Global House, which can house up to 581 students in both single and double rooms, and Okay, I'm just messing around. Um, so for the last semester, I've been staying at the SK Global House. And yeah, let me show you guys around. So before we actually go into the dorm, I kind of want to show you guys everything that's around the dorm. So our first stop is the SK Plaza. There are a lot of helpful things here. For example, there's a burger place, there's a cafe, there's a place where you can reload your SIM card for your phone. And there also is a convenience store, which is loaded with a whole bunch of snacks. Apparently you can't record there, which I learned the hard way. Close it. No, no recording? Mm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So convenience stores in Korea are scattered every 50 to 100 meters, which is pretty convenient. <laughs> so if you just go down the road, then you'll meet another convenience store called Emart 24, which is connected to the College of Medicine. And yeah, there's a cafeteria here and just a wide open space where you can study and eat and just hang out with friends. So yeah, now let's head back to the door. So as soon as you enter into the SK Global House, you're required to stop in front of a thermal sensor which can read your temperature as well as tapping your card in order to get in. You also need to tap your card in order to get out so they can track who's entering and exiting the building at all times. And if you head down into the basement, then there are other amenities such as the music room, the kitchen, and the gym. And I like the gym because no one ever comes to the gym, so I kind of have the entire place to myself. It's kind of like a little private gym. So in the kitchen, there are a lot of amenities that you can use. There's a stove top, a microwave, uh, there's also knives and scissors. The only thing is you need to get your cooking utensils, for example, pans. Um, but at least you can store your food in here. Just make sure you write your name on it. So one interesting thing about SK is every single floor has a different color. On every single floor, there are two lounges as well as a study room. So the lounges are pretty spacious. In every single lounge, there's a microwave, a water machine, a vacuum you can borrow, as well as a trash. So you don't have to take your trash all the way down to the bottom floor. So you can only have friends of the opposite gender up on your floor before 11 p.m. So oftentimes before 11, we chill in these common rooms for a bit. And I guess if we want to chill a little bit later, then we go outside or to another area of campus. All right, so I guess I'm showing you guys inside of my room. Don't judge if it's a little dirty, um, but yeah, in order to get into your room, you have to tap your card. Then you place that card into a slot to turn on the electricity. So I live in a single room here in SK, which is pretty nice because I get my own space and my own bathroom. The bathroom took a little getting used to because it's a wet room, which means basically you get everything wet when you take your shower. So you have to be a little careful if you don't want to get your socks wet after your showers. Yeah, there's nothing super out of the ordinary in this room. There's a lot of cabinet space, a lot of drawers, which I'm pretty grateful for. I get my own fridge, which is pretty, pretty nice. And yeah, that's pretty much the gist of everything I want to show you in my room. So that's pretty much the gist of everything I want to show you about Yonsei University. Um, if you enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.